there, this is Victoria from CrushCrypto.com. For this video, I will be reviewing an upcoming ICO project called Right Mesh. As always, we are not paid or mandated to do any of our reviews. This is just our personal opinion and analysis for educational purposes only and not financial advice. Please always do your own research before making any investment decisions. RightMesh is developing a decentralized mesh network to provide control and access of the internet for people worldwide. A mesh network is a type of network where nodes connect with each other directly and dynamically and cooperate with one another to efficiently route data packets. RightMesh's mesh network will consist of dynamic peer-to-peer -peer nodes and the network will be broken down into two main components, the mobile ad hoc network and the delay tolerant network. This diagram illustrates the right mesh mobile mesh network. If you're interested to learn more, the team has a pretty good post explaining what mesh networks are and how right mesh differentiates itself. So how does right mesh work? Right mesh's network enables the autonomous discovery of other users, devices, and apps. Once another node is found, they will remain connected. The process repeats and data is transmitted quickly via Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct, or Bluetooth across multiple hops. Smartphones, IoT devices, and web servers are connected in a self-forming, self-healing, and self-regulating mesh network. If one node has connectivity, all nodes can access online application services and other global meshes. This slide summarizes the project's historical milestones and future development roadmap. Left, the company that founded Right Mesh is based in Canada and has been around for four years already. The company has holdings in various mobile and internet-based businesses. It launched the Yo! mobile app in 2015 and designed the Mesh network in 2016. Right Mesh will be raising funds by issuing our Mesh tokens. The hard cap is $30 million and the conversion rate is $1 per token. The fully diluted market cap will be $100 million if the hard cap is reached. The pre-sale is already over, but the main token sale will take place starting on May 30th. The whitelist for the crowd sale is currently open. Our mesh tokens will be distributed within 30 days after the end of the crowd sale. This chart shows how the total supply of our mesh tokens will be distributed. And this chart shows the intended use of funds. The team estimates that they will need around $45 million to cover their expenses from 2018 to 2020. For the most up-to-date information on the ICO, please visit their website and join their Telegram group. Our mesh tokens will be used for various purposes within the network, such as rewards for node runners and payment by users for data transmission. The tokens are also required for storage, acquiring geolocation, or other goods and services developed on the right mesh platform. In addition, some internet connecting nodes will have to stake a certain amount of our mesh tokens in order to qualify their services and obtain rewards. The token should appreciate in value if there is enough demand for the proposed network. The more that users want to piggyback on other users' data instead of buying their own data plans, the more valuable these tokens should be. There are currently 13 people in their leadership team according to the project's website. The biographies of key members from their corporate and technical teams are shown here on the slide. Right Mesh has a number of advisors, including the co-founder of Finhaven, the co-founder and CEO of Song Lily, the founder of Parallel Payments, the CEO of IM Solutions, the head of ICO at Bitcoin Suisse, and a managing director at Consensus. Here are some of our thoughts on the project's opportunities. The development of the project is fairly advanced with SuperPeer, MicroRadian payment channels, their messaging app MeshIM, and others developed. This is a screenshot of their developer portal where developers can sign up for their own accounts and learn how to build a right mesh app. The idea behind right mesh is pretty unique. If the project succeeds, they could achieve widespread adoption and the potential could be substantial. Yo, a mobile app developed by Left that provides off-grid messaging, sharing, and content discovery will be migrated for use with the next generation Right Mesh platform. The app is currently available in the Apple Store and Google Play and has over 1 million installs. According to the team, the app is used predominantly in emerging economies, including India, Mexico, Colombia, and so on. In terms of our concerns, there isn't a lot of public information on the project's business plan and go-to-market strategy at the moment. For this project, establishing a strong local network quickly is crucial, as the network is not valuable if only a few people in a local area use it. Having a solid and achievable marketing plan is essential, but we aren't able to assess right mesh on this aspect just yet. Most of the core team members are also working at Left, the company that developed Right Mesh. We are unsure how the team will be allocating their time between these two ventures going forward. 
In addition, the target users for the project are those without reliable and affordable internet connection. As crypto users know, purchasing cryptocurrencies can be a cumbersome process. It could be difficult for the project's target users to purchase our mesh tokens, thereby creating a barrier for adoption for the project. Overall, from an investment perspective, we have a neutral view on this ICO for flipping. The token generation process is drawn out and the project does not have a lot of market awareness at the moment. We also believe the hard cap of $30 million is relatively high in the current ICO market, which would cap the upside for flipping. For long-term holding, we also have a neutral view. As the target users are those without internet connectivity, we believe it could take a while for the platform to gain traction and for there to be strong demand for our mesh tokens to be used. As I mentioned earlier, the use of cryptocurrencies also creates another barrier for adoption. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter and Facebook to get our latest updates. We publish new content on various projects and cryptocurrencies on a regular basis. Hope you have a great day and keep crushing it.